bless you today too. We are glad for having gathered like this. Um, I know it's not me. My heart is just beating faster than normal. But God help me. Amen. 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 Let's be on our feet. First Corinthians 10. Amen. So now all these things happened unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the worlds are come. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11.2 Okay, let me start from one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this graceful morning. Thank you for gathering us to God under your feet. Lord Jesus Christ, we come nowhere but under the graceful power of the blood of Jesus Christ. To God. Surround our hearts, our minds, our souls, everything into your hands of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the living God. You know the hearts and the situations and the trials and the conditions of every heart that has walked in this morning. Lord Jesus Christ, we know that you are the healer, oh God, of all weaknesses. Come down and by the power of your word of God, you will heal our souls and heal our bodies to the glory and honor of your name, oh God. Jesus Christ, I'm helpless. Put me out and have your own way, Lord. Touch my lips, oh God, with the tongue of fire, oh God. As a date unto Isaiah, Lord. Amen. Grant me grace, and may we be a blessing about to return the same. Amen. Possess every wax and counsel plans of the enemy of God, yeah. and let the pillar of fire take absolute control. Amen. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. God bless you all once again. Amen. Yeah, we are glad to be here. Last Thursday, we started a topic, what will you be remembered for? And we want to continue. Pastor asked us to continue because uh, we didn't really reach anywhere. <laughs> And we said that uh, if you want to be remembered, there are three things you need to do. You have to be ready to learn. You need to learn something before you can get to a point to say you're also producing. And then you need to find a problem to solve that the second one. And then you must be ready and willing to also give out. Yes, you are there. We said that the Bible said that these things are written for our examples. It means that when we hear certain names of the Bible, the things that they did are things that are put down for us to look at and learn from. 
When we talk about Noah, we talk about a man who built an ark by faith and by obedience to God. When we talk about Abraham, we say he's a father of faith and he obtained this, that is the promise of God, by total obedience to God's word. Moses, a prophet who met and related with God face to face, but at the long run was set aside because of his obedience. That's a actual Moses. David, a man who loved God so much he wouldn't want to fault him and was quick to amend his ways when he faulted. Rahab, a prostitute who did not perish with those who did not believe because he accepted God's people. Rahab. Achan, when we talk about Achan, we talk about a man who by greed brought havoc in the camp of Israel and caused so great a disturbance in his life and his own family's life. And when we talk about Jesus Christ, we talk about God in the man form that has came to, that has come to save, save mankind. Jesus Christ, Now the question is, when you are mentioned, what do people say? We have things to relate in the Bible when certain names are mentioned. But today, when you were asked, our names are mentioned, how will people relate or what will people relate our names to? Please, I need the help from the deacons. Can you let me know when I'm closing so that I'll know how to organize myself? Thank you. But the Brown said in that day on Calvary, he said, Look what the day on Calvary did for you. It paid your price, it settled the question. Your sin as a scarlet and you are a, you are white as snow, red like crystal, white like wool. Then you have no sin. You are perfectly sinless. No matter what you've done or what you do, you are still sinless. As long as you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, your sins are forgiven. Anything is forgiven, is remitted, and forgot about. Now, I say, share Calvary. The OC, our home, or yeah, you may dip here. A day, yeah, my hand. Ah, you know, Bonitina be almost wild coin and each, you know. As I'm with Janet by a moment, Daniel, I didn't have a year of food. I mean, Tom Fahon, my Aye Biara, and Yoko to Janet will be like Jesus Christ to the Woods of Funis, our year more in a ra. Or as a woman, I hear you, my baby, and so no, oh, you need a few. Then what does it do? It gives you. After the condition, the spirit to follow him and to do as he did for others who is following. He was he was just one man, the perfect man. He gave his life. He had an example for you. Now you must. Now what must you do? He said he gave us a spirit 
to follow or do the things that he did so that others who are also coming after you will also follow what you have also left behind. Oh, my name is Susu. There you go to me. It's not a word. I hear my name. I'm a word, but also one school to my name. Now, the first thing I want to say is Jesus never lived for himself. His life was spent for others. That is perfectly eternal life. When you say you got to go to church and you do things, that is fine. But when you when you live your life to yourself, you haven't eternal life. Eternal life is living for others. It's proved it when he come in the lamp of God. He lived, had eternal life because he did not live for himself. He lived for others, and you receive eternal life by receiving that day. And you don't live for yourself no more. You live for others. Amen. I say. Ina tim oni ewe yi en kwado anam de ewa de bai no dam ena ozi bai oni ewe yi kwano mo wo mu ni de nya de a betena se ama wanka sa wo de mo de tum etena se e ma unuanom na nka afo no ti se ka oni ewe yi kwano asam de a ka ina shan so de oya aza retena se ama nka afo someone said how can you stand let anybody call you such bad names you didn't live for yourself you live for others that you might redeem that man, you, you, be, you become sons. And the trouble is the church has forgot they were sons. You are sons. You are taking Christ's place. You are a son. So don't live for yourself. Live for others. Amen. Amen. But Abraham said, well, but Abraham, I can live for others because he sure is a nice man. But Abraham said, that is not it. Live for that man who hates you. Live for that person who will kill you if he could. That is what they have to do. That is what they done for him. They killed him, he died, and that he might save them. That is eternal life. Now when you are in that bosom, you are facing heaven then. But when you sacrifice your own things, give them up, like the lamb gives it its own wound, you look on towards Calvary. Now, I say, sir, a trans record, oh, or see me see any part of the moon, or ye, until you met trans a mana, let them not come as a mom nipa, a dress, lamb you be a ton of papa, ye, nipa, or no, ye cry, or one crofono. Let's put Jesus Christ, who is our perfect example. You can imagine what was his game when he had to go to Calvary to be beaten and to be killed for people who have sinned. He didn't sin. Jesus Christ was a perfect man. But look at it. You and I were the sinners and the thieves and the liars. But he did it just for us. Look at the pain he had to go through at Gethsemane. He said, Lord, if it be possible, let this cup pass over me. But because of you and I, when he was tested on the cross, he said, if you indeed are the son of God, come down. But because of you and I, he lived that cross to die so that we will have eternal life. It is up to you and I to also Set a life aside to also live for others. That's a actual Jesus Christ, sir. Oyaza, why you born to be a born to be a nino? Then so no, on a mina won't you know, no do bechina, chinabua, or bechina, on a mina true some, you know, we, you know, the braba, we cut the air here, a poor boy in antino, no there, on no oba, not no cobber to all, the ma, mina, no there, offer, a yell no money, I will get so many. In Revelation chapter 5, that is the part one. He said, He said, So it doesn't matter when it, he comes. That is Abraham talking uh, about the coming of the Lord. 
and on what he has done over the years, 31 years in ministry. That is what he was comparing to. He said, that is the truth. I said, the greatest thrill I have is living for others. He said, I said, that is what life is. Makes life real. What makes life real is this. It's not what you can do or accomplish for yourself, but what you can do for others. Now, we have to ask our small team in each woman with two in the front the car. I said, I do one work as here, or as I see you near there. Ever two, at Nassi, I'm a woman, at Nassi, I'm a be, I am a pretty up will be, or yet every year, every year, you won't put all the moon, and every one put all, no more put any there, ever two make up and pendra, or I'm a boy in an hour, I'll be a dungeon, a region, there will be. But Abraham's toils and difficulties and all the things that you go to as a young man, he said that you have to go to work, close from work. Go and stand by the roadside, and preach the gospel, come and sleep at midnight, wake up again. All these things that he was telling through, he was doing it because he wanted somebody to be saved for Christ. But to Amen. He said, see, and you will find it's more blessed than riches that can be brought or taught of. It's what you can do for someone else that will lift, which is life itself is a burden. He said, it will make a little, a life little lighter for someone else. You just don't know the joy unless you try it once to do something for somebody. Think of it, you yourself, you can attest to the fact if you do something good for somebody and the person comes back to say thank you, how do you feel? How is the feeling like? That is what he's talking about. Those times when we go to school, when we when we computer school, we go back to school and then our teachers see us. They are always happy because they feel that they have produced yes, some yes, people yes, or some students. As a teacher, you can relate. Na cheche ni chiradia na se mo fro chow na adenu wo yu school ko 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 anu asangwe chiba mo ba bebe chiana osha pen pen do we do na teacher ni 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 chase rungu na kume mene. A brother bring na no anyapa. Ama ye bi bi ya bi ama defo fro no. But Abraham said the same that they uncovered. He said, notice, he was talking about Matthew chapter 25 when we talk about Jesus Christ at the end of the day will separate the lamb, the goats from the sheep. And he said this, he said, and he said to the goats, depart from me because I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was in prison and you didn't visit me. I was naked and you couldn't clothe me. I was tested and you didn't give me water. I was sick and you didn't visit me. So depart from me. And on the ship he said, I am hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you give me clothing. I was sick and you ministered to me. Now, when some of you did that, I was in Calvary. I was in Matthew. I was in the house. 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 Okay, you know, then we're free in channel free. Bra come to my mom and Iban. We could if you ask what my mom is saying. Bra me hear what my shem. Then we go on. Oh, yeah, so okay, you know, then bra me I come to my mom. My baby, my baby. Bra me go judge. I be more. We try no mom bam and change. Then we go on. We come on. Then we bra me bra. Then we go on. And notice that don't fail to get this church. Keep this in your heart forever. It was so unconsciously done. Pay attention to it. Those who did good to people, they did it unconsciously. Amen. Said the people don't do it for 
The people don't do it for line of duty. A man that gives you something and not that because he ought to do it. A man that feeds you because he ought to do it. He's got a selfish idea. Now, so be a up all your people more than they be a raw year morning to know or as a kit up a Samukumia, a national so. The one way the minimum in our own or what year a bra won't you know, Mumpo or for one more and a way and yet they be a be put one as a way. No one way a way a bra I can crown for you. It should be by your life. Your action, it was so surprising to those sheep that they said, Lord, when were you hungry and we didn't feed, we fed you? Where were you hungry and we fed you? And where were you naked and we gave you clothes? Where were you tested? And all they said, When were you sick and we said, so they said, It was so automatic out of love, just your life live in them. God, let these people see what Calvary did for us so automatically. I say, I'm gone. I radical children are coming to my mom at the band from a town where I'm lost. Oh, boom, that band here at the minimum. I also share, I don't know, I don't feel whom. My cavalry, I am on a door day and come in, we be so much. I'm a man, why didn't them put a good to the man? I'm on now, you're the means of me now. But the brown said, he said, he said, it was so automatically out of life. said, when you, when you. When were you, Lord? We never knew that. He said, look at Jesus and intent. In as much as you have done this, you have done unto this, you did unto me. On selfish life, not the second thought, not to think about it, but you were so dead to the things of the world and so alive in Christ and so walk on the highway that these things are just an automatic thing. I say, I say, I I say, I Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, the things that he did, he didn't do them out of necessity. He did them just because they were flowing in him like the rivers of water. Jesus, my own yeah, there. Amen. Amen. But the Brown said in Hebrews chapter 7, he said now, talking about Abraham, when Abraham had departed from Lot and there were challenges and other things, and he got to a point in time when Lot was captured by the enemy, and then Abraham had to go and then fight and bring back Lot. That's what the prophet said about it. He said, now notice, he said, I will, Abraham, after he had gone to fight, and then they asked him to take his part out of the lots that were conquered, and then the gains they had, Abraham said, he said, I will not take from a thread to a shoe latch, a shoe latch. He didn't fight the war to get or to make a lot of money. A real true battles are not fought to make for selfish motives. Wars are fought for money. Wars are not fought for money. Wars are fought for motive, for principles. Men fight war for principles. When Abraham went out to get Lord, he didn't go out because he ought to whip the kings and take all their possessions. He went out for the principles of saving his brother. Amen. Oh, sir, sure. Uh, Lord, bra, I have a friend who moved in a choir, you and I'm on Abraham Otino, and Abraham Rikasson, I say, Abraham, when to the man, I'm on Anam there, and Zemebia Obenyenti, no mom, sir, Rakku Kubiara, or that would be Tano, or ye, Rebus from Kufi there, Ebenya Japase, the minty bra was in your man of Pawaduma, or Abraham, one one gentleman, on I'm there, would tell me, man, you there. And any minister that sends out under the inspiration of the kingdom of the king of heaven will not go for money. Neither will he go to make big churches. Neither will he go to inspire denomination. He will only go for one principle, that is to bring back his fallen brother. Whether he gets a dime in offering or whether he doesn't, it won't make a bit of difference to him. So Amen. 
Despite the wrong that Lot did Abraham, Abraham, when he found out that his niece was in trouble, went to support and brought him back out of captivity. But not for a selfish interest, but for the fact that his brother was in need. And he was giving him that support. Abraham brought what is your motive for making an attempt to help your brother or sister? Is it for a personal gain or what is it for? Why do you want to insist, oh brother, you are suffering, you are doing this, you are doing this. I want to help you. What is your motive? Is it that you have seen that there is a loophole somewhere that you want to pick advantage of or what? But Abraham said in the message of grace, talking about David and Bathsheba when David has fell, fallen and then Bathsheba, but Abraham said that this Jesse, Bathsheba did it out of negligence. She knew that she was supposed to cover the place, but she didn't because she knows that David will be passing by. She did it for a reason. Don't say, bro, I somehow never do that. I do my summer. Now, often David, ni Bathsheba, we'll see one in Germany. Never say, Bathsheba, they're not called out or yellow. Why, yeah, we said, But you are, but you dress yourself so you cause this man to commit adultery, and you are guilty of it, of adultery with him. That is when, that is when it's done, it you are to blame. You are the one that presented yourself that way. When we talk about woman or sister covering yourself, making sure that. You keep yourself well covered. It is isn't that we are worrying you because Brahma said that on the day of judgment, you will stand before God, yes. answering for committing adultery, whilst you will swear that you never slept with any man, if you should die single. That's a show. Says you who I will come to be do. The man who says he 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 says Bathsheba done wrong just like Eve done wrong, but Adam was included in it. I think we are always hurrying over women too. You sons of God, men, I know you are the strongest bunch, that is right, the strongest sex. You are over the women, that is true, so act like it. Don't overpower them. Try to take some, some small little girl and then ruin her life. But be of a son of God, tell her she's in the wrong, and stand like a son of God. She's your sister, yes sir. What, tried, what we try to do, what the so-called so -called sons of God today belong to churches and take others and say, remember, because there's an immoral woman, because there's an immoral woman may be that little girl out there. Say, remember, because some married man ruined her too. Now, I say, Oya za beshi ba jina bi oko jine mu no ofo me dem na ibi so ofo me ara mpempi ya kasa de bo mba no one chi papa ye na mbarima wa nyame no ma menyufo no so no oya za wo ne wo ne kroba ta wo ya den de wo ba na bema ntem bema wo ya den de na so no ode tuma du jina bi bi ehun de en na ntwo ko na o se a e ko fa o ba yo bi na enni ni ya bi bi o san fa ta ne ko jina jina bi bi a onye mo se this come to play especially when brother and sister are courting. Especially, but I must say, you, the brothers, must make sure 
You have to stand your ground to make sure you do not put the lady in the way that is not right. You must be a brother strong enough to know that it is not good for me to lie with this sister until I bring her to the sacred desk. Amen. You must be strong enough not to take advantage of her. Hey, Abim, bra, very man, I want to be na or shout to her na mona. Also, who very man or the two brother who yamen a samu? Each na pinti wa hundi ne mude. Oni ne abaya mi ni yam fanuba for buche ne ni mono. Mene ne yadi bi on sam fata na mi kuni hufi. I mean, to know China Pintin, not to walk with me. They be China Yaba for which you may be a real BPR and Sanya Kwan at them. Ama, do not look at the leniency of somebody and then take advantage of that person. Be careful what you are doing. Man, sure, there will be I am brown to know now for no more. And I'll eat China Damijam. Yeah, I see. He said, and when I said in Jezebel, he said, and I understand this. He said, Brother Sullivan said, everything will be will paid outright. We've never left a city yet, owing one cent. But what everything was taken care of, we don't, we just don't believe in anything else. We mustn't owe anyone. We must be square and straight. And if you owe somebody, go face them and tell them that you owe them. But just give me a little time, I will pay you. Said always, that is a good mark of Christianity. Being honest and upright. While some of you know Jezebel as soon, you know, I say on on your because there are some more free and she did be a safe young way, she did know. Well, she says, see a cow be a was a safe you be a right. I mean, just only that which I will be a bad junk of a cow. Only that young and grass and poor at the cow that's in two and two are one to a dream. Pony Pacon and Chan and Caonia or my permanent mutia and I'm a my idea. Mamma break a crack. Yes, one of a crystal ye or then he how many of us here, sitting down here as believers, so-called, will take advantage of brothers who think, you think that, oh, this person has this person, so you go, oh, brother, give me this, sister, give me this, tomorrow, next week, next two weeks, next month, I'll bring you this. And then because you think it's your brother, and you feel that he has more, you go, and then to date, so many years have come, so many years gone, and you are still in the same condition. Take note of it. Eu vou te dizer que 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 eu vou you always must be honest, just true. Tell the truth, no matter how bad it hurts something. Tell the truth anyhow, cause you can always tell it the same way each time. And if you tell a lie, you would have to go a million miles around and still have to go back to lie again. Hmm. And you must just make an awful thing. Just be honest, and you can always tell it the same way because it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So, no corner can go over how or the den of a bow. Any more no corner can the ma was a new year, no beer didn't look up or send a young bed the afternoon there. A book chow, the afternoon, the afternoon, the afternoon, the afternoon, the afternoon, the ma, the mitos in the car, the merry piano, so fufu, fufu, tuntum, tuntum. Brother, are you, sister, are you honest with one another? Are you sure you are very honest and truthful? To this message is surprising so much. This very strong, hard message that we preach. If we are still living a way outside of what we preach, then there is something wrong somewhere. Some person got to the me. They are to the man in February. Let's say, you're a pop rap. No, you're some no in Cordia. I am one. On your bed, on your bar. And I ate in the car. I'm a woman. I some bed the actually ate in the car. A woman. I said, Don't you go, Martin? Let them know for you. Oh, they do not know that. I have so much respect for Red Cross, the brother who has gone to uh, Canada. This precious brother, when he was testifying and uh, uh, making the monkey amends down there, then we said the wife told him, My brother, hey, so this message, Pana, what's it, Pana? Put me as I This thing has never left me. Masami, what's the dream? Kai, you know. And all Red Cross, so they did that to be another Kasai far. 
Jinabua, Okum, Nasre, there, and Yamibo Hunomobono, or Cassem be there, the Siabano, and any other catcher, and now some of you must want Jinny in a tomb yard, yeah, or Tidamia, now someone or Bums that mock what committed listening. God bless you. Amen. So if we want to take advantage of conditions, it means that our, 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 the inside man, there is something wrong with the inside man. Where this message, people expect us to live some extraordinary lives amidst, amidst one another. We are expected to live lives. Some of these things are not supposed to be messy about and among us. It is a surprise when we hear that somebody has committed to fornication or adultery because we know that we have a message that is so real and true and so strong that we can't afford to disobey it. I read this last uh, Thursday, but I want to read it. It said, Message, we will see Jesus. He said, There is no more grace to men, to me, than there is to the drunkard that was saved five minutes ago. See, God loves us all the same. We are not above one another. We are all the same. We are children. I have got two children. Two uh, little one, girls one. and a boy. I do I do not make one ounce of difference in them. They are all the same. That is the way God does. If you are a housewife, if you are a preacher or a deacon or whatever you are, in the sight of God, we are all the same and we are just children. Each one has a job to do and let's do it with all our hearts. <laughs> Check note, he made mention of a housewife, a deacon, a, 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 a preacher, but let us put other people to in place. Put your profession there. We'll talk about it. If you're a mechanic, if you're a, a, a carpenter, you're a mason, you're a contractor, you're a teacher, whatever, put yourself there. But Ron said this, in the believer's position in Christ, he said this, I've got a ministry that I've got to take care of. And the next man's, man has got his ministry. Each one has got a ministry. Even to, to, to the housewife has a ministry of ministering the word of God. You as a housewife, you as a carpenter, you as a, a, a mechanic, you as a driver, you have a ministry of ministering the word of God to people through your profession. Now, when you're from the castle of Paul, you'll be a higher year with fear, some pecuny, dicking, a sore pain, what thing, what we can win. Now, a son can be be so, I was not doing that, jetting in each and every more crystal. Now, some men who are so much more. Amen. In Acts chapter 9, we talk about the life of workers concerning or relating it to this ministry thing. The Bible said that when Dorcas died, Dorcas, let me read, he said, This woman, it came to pass that she was sick and she died. And when it and when they had washed her, they laid her in the upper room. And as much as let me go to verse 39, he said, Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by, weeping, and she, Showing the coats and the garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. Now, if you ask, and I'm small for money to Akona, I say, Okasa for Dorcas, son, 
na bra oyare na ofim na ohuru no hu din botu asu ho no mu no o se ku na fa ru ina wo bai na wo bai no kitigita won sem tamna dia dokas open pamina dia odem ho ina wo kitigita wo de bejina wo the bible said that this woman was full of good works and arms deeds which she did and this widow woman they were wearing when you look at them commentary the bible said that they were wearing the things that Dorcas has done for them the widow women we will say that Dorcas was a business woman she may be perhaps she is a, a fashion designer a seamstress or something and the things that she had done for these widows they were so much in love and in pain to miss a, a true friend and a true sister who was supporting who was loving them and giving all her best for them working hard to support them because they felt that they have lost so much of a great thing widows crying and weeping when peter came in e kura fu oya za bra peter ko wura mu no o su o di abogo na ma doctor spin pamani na wadi na odenezi oni na doctor si tro sama ya ti asere no yo bi a ndwuma pa na wa shana ma don be ye bi bi abu obi de onye ne ten da mi ti no e kura fu wo wo de doctor si e firi mu no ni pot da pe fu asa no na yo ho no na mi ya ten ma wan da mi ti o da ja oye mo yi ne ti de bai no e be ken na doctor si obi opama de at the family into no dan na no botan no na mo profo nji na bi mo smart mi ye bi bi kakrambo na me fam bo awon into ona o wi no what ni na ba ya what di su na no go ba be it my day displayed her works the things that doctors had done were displayed and then the bible said that the people came testifying about the things that she had done look at yourself as a seamstress what will bring you their material look at yourself as an amazing or a carpenter what will bring you a job to do how do you handle that job take note of it yen she so throw no no my ati ase there my doctors yen na no won fan see o what they need what they need they me na throw no oraka they me to fit to one gasa so ho e be na djuma na mere ye ebia me pamade ebia me carpenter ni ebia me mesi ni ebia me to pa no ebia me djuma bia fit to Ebenen zama ana wusu area sem bro fu de juma bro ba won wo ke kan wo juma no hoti dan wo den nan ye fa ho imagine how the occasion would have been if dokas was not doing what she was supposed to do her ministry as a fashion designer she did the things and did it so well that when she died the people had made as well as that they have lost so great a person and i know that it is through this cry and pain that they found that when peter came to preach came to pray for her god saw the grief of the people but the things that she has done god cannot hold it that to bring her back to life amen enti o se hwe dokas ma o ye ni na ju no hoda se dokas anya de me me ni na aka bra what in the two god you what in the two one anga kwa funu beti abogo de ma anga wa de ni juma no baba ba kira na mi ti bra ona mna ate ase no oyi anyama e wo konsro kodo nti no bra o firi mu no ah eye o ka won e mo wo ipo po e bai di su na abogo na ro ho na afa nyuma no oyi no so wo ba de na di nti wi bra pita wuro mi hwe jina bi ona Erade yan ko pontu ni nwa no hwe moro kodo na na odo ma osan oso review bear it in mind that the brother or sister who is giving you that job knows that one you are a christian and knows that two you can be able to do what is giving you and three you have signed a contract with the person and you will say that oh two weeks i'll bring this thing and two weeks you don't bring it and you don't have any better thing to tell that person you are a disgrace to the core of christ because that thing is uh, it's going to be a what a, 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 a hindrance to that person ah, is it not a christian is it not this spoken word guy is it not this people who preach so hard is it not these people who say they are this and that then why is this person living this way to a disgrace to this ministry shana so there a jumana ni pano da brown shana so there ni pano shanya me bin so i know to the man among the jumana brown oh the condom there eye kristo ni onyim de se en krasa mi echi onyim da asami na no ya shio asami ba guo ma en nya de ma bi asifu kai ne eya no nti adwuma na da bro so onyim so da e wo nyimisi wo ho betum aye na aye ni ye 
said, Odemo, that's a dependent power, Yansan, to my cousin, Pepe Yachin, maybe a dumb dumb in tea and a man to my farmer. Also, sent to my copy of your ranch, and it ya. That's a two adjima, or Yazani Panamania, Jimbido. Then you pay and all your Christoni, and you pay no Jim Casamichi, and the Mokofino or Casam, Dinja, a born of the Asambisa, Ababada. Today, it is money is not easy to come by. Yeah. When somebody has stored and giving you money to do something for the person, and then you run around with that money, and then you don't perform what you're supposed to perform, and you think that you walk free, my brother, don't. Don't so do it. Why you think? No people too many scar. No way you scar. Nah, other money you bring me man. The minute you say nobody is scar, no demo. You bring me man, that's it. And two and two you make them a. Or you ask me a. When fun trial, I'm going to a dream. Now I call Shiri. People are looking at us, and they are expecting us to live that Christian life. That carpentry work, that masonry work, is a ministry that you need to perform and do the things right. People should see your honesty as a Christian in the things that you do, so that when they see, ah, what kind of person is this? He goes even an extra mile to support me. He goes even an extra mile to do things I didn't even know ask of. What kind of person is he? You want to ask, ask her, what makes you do this different thing? And then Peda will say that I have believed a message that causes me to do what I'm doing. But if the person will look at you and then you don't do, you do the opposite of what the person expects, what can you tell the person? How would your life be expressed to that person? Even when the person here was spoken with, you see that no, we will be. They are not sincere people. They are not, they are not reliable. I cannot go to this church. And bear it matter, if your life it's an, a, a, a negative example to push people away from the gospel. You will not escape judgment. I tell you. I say, a jumana area, you know. Oh yes, a sume jumabi. I know what I shall answer. The man sume jumano, and I'm a jumana area, you know. Suba na be jenedi. On sume be yowe juma. O kasa ebe zido na zin na no. Oh yes, safwe be obu ekan. We do not carry the same attitude about Benu. I will do my own. In Tibra, I am in Sinodi. My chance. Then Siluka. No one can do it. No one can do it. In Kafu, I am not saying that we are them. No one. But then, no one did it. No, I am not saying that. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not doing it. I am not saying that we are not Ne wamu sentu mu ambemu dem na sawo so ayi yon di yadem ebi asifu ayi nama dia tele ni oda tara ko asha omri ebo tru aso bechu chobi biye ebi achina me ebi adichi ebi aso waka ebi me yehem eska kebi ano me ebi obwa inti sawo so dem ko ya nama dia na fe dem ni baku bo hune debi akada ko asro ati dem esum nyame ya o hune debi sinto ewa hune kai. That's what you don't want for. I'm not telling you today. My other own for which you don't go. Hey, it's my people have said. Uh, people blood has been shed for this ministry. Yes. People have laid down their lives, and but the promise said that we are expected to follow and also leave a mark behind for others to come and follow. So if you don't know and uh, somebody has died for it and you call somebody to move away from it, you will not escape. God's yes, right. Now the man who made you make profit, the one who made at your armor, who made you make. Rofu at one hour to a palmer. The man had been so a yah. Oh, yes, some of you are the hobby, maybe you so a baby room. The minute said, and two and two and a month, I want to move on the name of what brought up one day. Upon Rofu Free, I mean, as some more upon Rofu Free, I mean, as a baby would ya. None of the We those who take advantage of our workers, especially employ employers, your people have worked for you, and you know you have to pay them tomorrow. Oh, I'll pay you. Tomorrow, my brother, what's your pay? Let me read the scripture. Determine 24 14. He said, Thou shalt not oppress or take advantage of a high servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or strangers that is in the land therein. He said, And this day thou shalt give him his high. When you have hired the person, you have to pay the person. Because why? Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and set his heart upon it. He came to work because he knows that I will be paid, and I will use this thing to go and sort things out. And then he has come to work for you, 
and then you take the money and then you pass it here tomorrow, tomorrow that. Listen to what it says. It said, Let's be cried against thee unto the Lord, and it shall be sin unto thee. That is the reason why most of us, if you don't take care, people are working. People are doing things, but you don't see the prosperity in the kind of work we are doing. Why are we working and we are not prospering? It is some of these things that is keeping us. People are praying against our prosperity because we are not being sincere to them. And we expect that we go on, you are lying. Amen. Or you sent to me, as I could determine me, woman, you know, and now. What can send you all? Then near go find that on you, my mom, not a chair, or that demand. When I'm there now, a woman of her, trust some at your name. I'm from man, not cobra, a china, dam, dama, or a queen, or a soon or soon, or drink a cup on a chair. Up on the my human area, come call on them. This is the time. I don't know the time. The time may not help you. I don't know why you are giving me one hour. He said in First Samuel 24, let me read this. David said, When Saul had pursued David, and Saul had wanted at all costs to kill David, and God gave David an advantage over Saul. This is what David did. He said, verse 24, he said, And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thy enemy into thy hand, that thou mayest do him as it shall be seen unto thee. Thou, then David arose, and cut off the skirt of Saul, Saul's robe with people. He said, and it came to pass, that is verse 5, he said, afterward that David's heart smote him because he had cut off Saul's skirt. He said, and he said unto the men, the Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto the, my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. The David of Shedding Fan Grant and Oku Cha, so on the skirts, and I'm not a creepy. If you are here, we are not come out of the David. I'm going to make you more to the me. I say, a Radimon Param, the Matuma Tun Mesa Akamura, and I'm there. Near Yami Asan and Guru, or near the Matun Mesa Awaru. Amen. David, even having cut source, source clue, was. That something was in his heart. Amen. Something was so difficult in his heart to say that I have done this. And brother, sister, how do we relate to our, our, ourselves now? Things, you look at the way we, 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 we carry ourselves and the way we, we, we pull ourselves into things. Things that somebody has not said. Things that are not true. Things that are not supposed to be discussed. People who Christ has died for. Let me say this. You know, most of the time, when some set of sisters come to sing here, and sometimes people think that their voice is not this, their voice is not that, and then they go home and they sit down and they laugh at these sisters. These are people who are singing from the depth of their heart to the praise of God. And you think that you need to get a special voice to sing. I don't need any special voice to stand here to praise my God. And woe unto you who laugh at them that you think cannot sing right. Pay attention to these things because these are people Christ died for. And if you rise against the cause of Christ, you will not go scot free. Shannon, so that's a Christo. Need you may be a sorry dear or can be the kind of the elf on who talks about the mayor king now or your friends. You are the nation yet. Can they put you now? You be now and someone you hope no be so I can. I didn't even impose it. I hear. For all we know, we heard of a couple talking about a minister 
and we knew that they were talking of how they can get a place for that minister to lie. Amen. They talked about Elijah to think of how they thought of the welfare of Elijah and they got blessing out of it. But today, when we discuss ourselves, do we discuss the welfare of ourselves or we discuss the pulling down of ourselves? Mother, sister, when you are talking about when you are talking to your children, what do you discuss people to your children about? Do you are you giving a positive influence of people to your children, or you are putting a negative influence of people in your children, such so that they want segregation? Say, I don't go with this person. I go with this person. God will not spare me. Then shall us <laughs> prophet be a warful. Wonder dream na na jamino na kwa. Then na yebe chuma ye ne ya dabwa. Then yebe chuma ye na fe ne hop na dream na wa befum. Na che yesu ye yebe bi dabwa. Onu na no ya wambo che. Then so be some other. I want to wa wa dream na wambo che onu ye de. And I want that it got to a point in time in Second Kings chapter five. When we go, let's go and read it. Yeah. Where Gehazi, when Naaman had come to Elisha. And then Elijah said, Your sister, because you want something from your hair, you go and say things that are not supposed to be told about brothers and sisters just because you want advantage of that person. The prophet said that the curse which was upon Naaman came upon Gehazi. The curse which God has wiped off from Naaman fell upon Gehazi. He was nobody but a servant of the prophet. Bear it in mind. Gehazi was not just anybody, but he was a servant. Someone serving the prophet. But yes, when he came to troubles, God put that problem on him because he lied against the man of God. And you can sit down with your children and say things that are not in it, and you think that it goes go free. Please let us not put curse on our children. Let us not do that. Let's not do that. I have to be here. 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 I and <laughs> So are you are you saying that the things that you are saying that are not true, you don't know it's not true? If you have taken a job, you have taken money from somebody, you have to give it back. You don't know you have to give it back. If you have take, taken a job from somebody, you have to perform. Mm -hmm. And you don't know you have taken it. But Bram said this, he said, iniquity, a day will come, Jesus will say, depart from me, yea, that worketh iniquity. Yes. Why will it be so? We will come and talk. We will not drink, we will not smoke, we will not do this, do that, and then at the end of the day, we don't make it up there. Just because there are certain things that we fail to do. He said, these things, we should, be take, we should take note of them. He said, iniquity is something that you know that you ought to do, and you will not do it. Iniquity. These are things that we know we have to do right. Talk to God about what you talk to, to our children about God, not people. Say the right thing to our children about, for, about ourselves and we will not do. He said, These things are iniquity and this is to take us out of the line of God. Obey, I will go there and no man's son and families are full and we are the young and maybe that I'm a market to get in kitchen kitty or Papa Walkway. Now, for a work or two, Radin or Macacho, if you meet your feet, what are you? We are not so well, be someone and some of our are careful being. I know I know Cora. And I want to say, you know, you know, Cora, the Java Ditchin ever for Connor, or Titi Damado. Now, I'll spray the Madin Nano, the Copper Radinima, or my country of Furniture Free, or Nimu, or I'm the Muya, and you know, D, a company, now go up out of every year, Zahonino Bebra, and we just say, yeah, she, that's a dummy, and you super yen, the Yetia, Yan Chi, and who feed them Yame now. Amen. Let's give ourselves some hope. Moses, but the man said, what is it that is in your hands? He said, Moses has been a total failure. And there have been men here this afternoon, maybe ministers, that has been total failures. 
maybe has been housewives, maybe has been students, maybe has been uh, workers, mechanics, carpenters, whatever, that has been failures because he said, whatever you have been, let that, let that be has been and start from today. Now I'll say, Moses, Moses, see now where we now go droop and do where when two and we pay up more shanisa. Maybe I know, see, or you will fear, maybe I is in Kugu, I will be a be, maybe I get to my name, Messi, and the captain, maybe I be a is in Kugu, I will corner me. Now, see, shanisa, there, my mother, we could not call the Mamma, we have a chimucon or on Pimua. There must be a starting point for today to write in our wrongs. But once I said, no matter what it is, maybe you have been a failure as a Christian. Maybe you have failed to go to God. It has been. Take note, take note to what I'm going to say just in a few moments about it. So Moses down in Egypt failed. He was one of the deliverer, but he failed. He said, but because he did and had that in mind, thinking that he could do it of himself, but he failed to get it done. Raman said that we can come together and then start afresh. God bless you. Let, let me complete with this and then we, we pray. Amen. I want us to pray for one brother, so let me just add this and then we pray Amen. about it. But about, the Bible said in Numbers 32, when they were moving on, Israel was moving from Egypt to Canaan on their way before they crossed Jordan. They got to a point in time where they had a very nice place. Mm -hmm. And then Reuben and God came to Moses and told them, Moses, he said, and they came near unto him and said, We will build sheep forts here for our cattle and, and cities. They wanted that place because they had cattle, they had sheep and other things so that they can gaze and then live there. And Moses was surprised. He said, Ah, we are moving together. We are going to a city. We are going to fight together to win a battle. And because you have seen a good place here, are you saying that you want to leave us here and then you, we will also we will go alone? Because you think you have gotten an advantage here. Now say yes, sir. No, no, but a woman is too. We are saying here now. We are saying that most of you go for free Egypt. Assassin look okay here now. Go through the Pendubia. Now when assassin here, he can tell me what. Eh, who assassin what did I make? Pam Honda. We are manka. At now, now we are just ban pa edi a bring in our prom prom. Until Ruby Nagar. And Moses referred them to what happened in Kadesh Benya when Joshua and Caleb stood with the people and told them we will go because they heard that they were not able to go and take the land because they saw that no, the enemies were greater than them. Bible said they cried and they wept. They stood against God and God killed most of them. Moses didn't want such thing to happen again. So he asked the people, ah, what and why are you bringing this in? <laughs> And they said, We will not return unto our houses until the children of Israel have in inherited every man his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on yonder side or forward because our inheritance is falling with us outside uh, at the side of Jordan. And Moses said unto them, and if you will do this, and you will go on before the Lord to war, and will go and will go all of you on over Jordan before the Lord until he has driven out his enemies from him, and the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward you shall return and be guiltless before the Lord and before Israel, and this land shall be your possession forever. 
But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Yes. I am basing it here because Tapu the Church or spoken word, we are so strict and strong on the word. But it look as if we are so low weak in things of prayer. Look at the way the place is packed. But Tuesday prayer meeting that we need to come and then be together with the Lord, support ourselves, connect ourselves together, and pray Praise together, we will not come. Bear it, man, the prophet said, if you want to grow, read your Bible, pray every day. He didn't just say read your Bible. He didn't say just say hear the message. He said read your Bible, pray every day. If these people who were supposed to be strong men had found a place thinking that they want to remain here and then leave the rest alone, when they were all fighting together, it has been a case where the church has helped people. People have troubles and they come and lay them on the altar. And we pray together and we get results. And when the result is gotten, you, you think you are okay. So you take yourself out of it. This is what we express. No, we don't count for uh, what they call it prayer meeting. It's a fact that for me, I am okay. For the rest, they can go and do what they want to do. But Moses said that be sure that these things, if you don't do it, whilst others have helped you, you will pray for your children, you pray for your child when she's this. Somebody's child will also come. You are absent. You will live stay at home or whatever in business, thinking that, oh, for whatever will come, you don't care about it. That is what it implies. Now, that's the show. And when we have come to pray for you to get a job, the Bible said that we get these things, we have to work to get money so that we can help one another. When you get a job, do not think that you are okay. So your contribution or whatever is needed, you will take it elsewhere. Whilst when you needed it, oh brother, shall I need job? Sister, pray with me all this, all this. Now we've gotten a request. What are you also doing to help others? Kobaram said, eternal life is living for others, not for yourself. You must put it uh, or make it a point in time or make sure that you are also doing something. You are spending. David said, I will not do things for God that I, I, I wouldn't fail. We need to want to do something that he feels for it. David was some when God loves David, we don't understand. These are some of the things. David was a prayerful man, such that when troubles come, he was easily he could easily give it out. He could easily surrender his life because he was soaked with God in prayer and with the word. Look at Job. When Job's trouble fell, if Job had not been a prayerful man, Job would have cursed God. 
but because he was prayerful and was connected to the things of God and he had that relationship with God, when these things happen, he rather bless God. Amen. And when you don't pray, no matter what, when things happen, when troubles come, you will neglect. Reject God because you hear the word, but there is no quickening with the power of prayer to let the word and uh, what to ask in you. Yeah, yeah, the brat in a mina summer, a bomb pie. Now, in Kenya, be up. I must say, Jinab, you be bar. And got done with you, I'm a radin young upon. Also, if you're Joe, Jinab, you are with him. We'll see now, Quimina, one doom young upon. On a day, we'll be out in a mina searching, and pipe out as a town, David. Oko do jina bibia se bibi sipa o fri ni pe o pada o yi o yi bibi ma ye sa no kompa o do bato o na me dai na o mpa e bom o zin yakopo na sam ni eche e mi cho de du jina bibia ay ko ye de bia asam no ne die jina to adu o mpa e bom o bandama o ho bi ba wa kwe ma anya hwe ya e beda no echi ama yakopo wi e be fri bo ti dai na so de te nyame na sam e wi no o de kompa e bom there is a clear indication that there is people do not have burden of people in their heart for prayer because when, when yes if you don't come to church to pray it means that at home it might be difficult to pray because if there is a cry of God in your heart everywhere there is prayer meeting you want to be there sir Bear it in mind, your burden is my burden. So must my burden be your burden. My child's trouble should be your trouble too. Yes. The fact that I gave birth to him or her does not mean that it is for me alone. Yes. It is for all of us. We are a family and a people of God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, our families, I, I don't know, after Tapra Day and the spoken word, the, the family union is all very beautiful. Mm -hmm. We love ourselves and we care for ourselves. But you look at it, things are going south mm -hmm. and must be corrected. God sing a song and then we'll pray for ourselves and then for one brother. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the
confess our mistakes and ask for grace from the Lord. Jesus Christ, we believe that is what we have spoken. 
and our faith will save the boy. Father, we believe God. Thank you so much, Lord, in the power of your resurrection. So I am he that was dead, and I'm alive forevermore. Lord, we can see your eyes in the pillar of cloud. You are alive. Father, deliver this boy in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let me see that. Amen. Amen. How many believe God? That is a doer of the impossible. Amen. Amen. Hey, God used Brother Brown. God did that. He opened the eyes of them. Now, right here, he's doing signs. Someone believe God. I say, if you don't believe, just walk out. Our God is able. Just walk out. If you don't believe, walk out. For God will only work by our faith. Amen. Amen. Fear not, brother. Our God is alive. Amen. 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 And somebody also shouted, Amen. Our God is more than able to help us. Abraham did a wonderful thing. He went and then rescued Lot. Amen. Abraham, yeah, the one who called J. Lot. See, those are brothers who are backslidden. We can go and fight physical battles. But when we meet them, tell them, my brother, I love you. Amen. Where you are treading, it's no good. Amen. Amen. Tell them, why are you? Is your friend? Why don't you want to tell them? Are you afraid of them? By so doing, you rescue them. Unto God. Amen. Lord God Abraham did that. But our day, tell them, brother, God help you. This time you have taken. It's not right. Amen. Abraham, or two on the morning, now Lord, or how old woman, or boy, or what didn't buy. You know, I know the break, and now, what shall I say? I found comfort for it. Now, you two, what could we never come? We shall not, so on. Sweetness. Amen. I know they to me a cast on the throne of all bowed. They may yell yellow or in Yamina Sam and call. But you know what sometimes some other people they do? When there is a visitor and the man will preach the same thing that they give my hope, they will shout, Amen, Amen, Amen. But when it is local preacher, nobody says, But I give my hope, God help you will stand out. Amen. Hey, when you expose them, they will not love you. But don't mind, you are telling them the truth. So now yeah. they will not love you. So you will watch and hear. Shall be a bit of him. Him say one pillow would sit over here. Now I'm going to preach. Time it up, time it up, time it up, time it up, time it up. Let us all stand up. Amen. Now if you want, what about that cheese? One pair seven or ten. One by ten time up. Now I'm going to say time. Say a seven. One by ten.
Amen. Please let me say. Thank <laughs> you. 